What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. And today I'm going to show you what I eat throughout my day. I already showed y'all what supplements I take and I gave you a little bit of a breakdown of what I use them for, why I use them, why they're essential to me. If you didn't catch that video, I'm going to leave the link in the description. Go check it out. Um, supplements are, are something that I need in my uh, daily fitness life. And um, yeah, so today we're going to see what I eat. This is more of the weekend, but it's pretty much similar to what it looks on the weekdays, just that I cook a little bit more on the weekends rather than eating supplements um, or eating like quick snacks like I do during the week because I work. And uh, yeah, um, currently I'm about to go to work. Got to train someone. Um, but to start the day, I always have my Outlive 100s with all my greens. And then I mix them. This is the, the supplement that I was missing on the last video, my collagen peptides. So, um, again, these are essential to me. I just feel so much better, especially if you don't use or you don't eat fruits and vegetables. A scoop of this, boom, in the morning on an empty stomach because I, I don't like to eat um, before I work out. I like to eat after. I've um, been doing it since the age of 13, so kind of used to it now. Why? I don't like getting cramps. Like, I get pains in my ribs like when you're full. Um, so, I haven't done that at all. So, um, about to go, go to work. Well, take this first. Um, go to work. And then train arms today. You, probably, you guys probably see a little bit of it. But not too much. This is mostly what I eat and seeing what I what my nutrition looks like. And then I'll give you all some tips or things that I picked up. Again, I'm no nutritionist. I just uh, like to learn. And uh, this is what I've learned and what works for me. And again, remember what works for me may not work for you. So if you try it out and it doesn't work, then hey, just you gotta look for something else for you. Yeah, tell y'all guys, these greens, are the best greens you're gonna have. So code Fred15 at Cage, if you wanna try them, I use them every day, like I said. Um, so I consider this kind of like a meal because it does have calories. Um, the greens is, how many calories is this? 50 calories for the greens. And then there's 70 calories for, um, the collagen peptide so that's 120 i believe um and then there's 18 grams of protein in this so so i'm pretty quick light my body absorbs it pretty quick before i work out so um yeah cheers cool so yeah let's head over to the gym so one thing <laughs> that I don't do, and you guys know this because I've said it before, is that I don't track any macros or calories. Why? It's tedious work. I'm not gonna lie, everybody should try it out. I did try it out for a little bit, but what ended up happening was I got obsessed with it and um, it kind of had control over my life. In a way, every everywhere I went, um, I had to have my scale with me. I wasn't wanting to eat uh, a lot or other people's food because I didn't know what was in it or I didn't know how much I was uh, consuming um, and so I stopped doing that and what I ended up doing was I would measure for a little bit and then I got a, a like a, a grasp of how much something was by just looking at it so I knew with rice how much rice is um, I knew how much meat was like four to six ounces of meat, I was I would give it a range. So it wouldn't be something specific, it would be a range. And then if I stayed within that range, I'd be fine. And that's still something that I do today. Of course, every once in a while, um, y'all see me, well, I don't think you guys have, but you'll see it later. I'll measure my rice. And I just measure the amount of grams of rice that I'm consuming. So right now, currently in my uh, diet, I'm consuming about 170 grams of rice. I upped it. Uh, this week just because I was feeling a little too weak and um, I, I, I didn't really like the feeling so 
trying something out and seeing if it's gonna solve the problem. I think I'm burning too many calories and not consuming as many. But um, you'll see that, and then I measure my meats. Depending on what the meat is, if I'm home, yeah, and I'll measure it. Uh, but other than that, when I'm outside, I know what four to six ounces looks like for me. And um, yeah, so not a big measure. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. I know a lot of other people do it, um, but for me, hey, it's been working and um, it takes that pressure that I'm putting on myself of, of I can't go out and eat whatever because I don't know the macros or I gotta measure everything in my plate or else uh, I'm gonna mess up my diet. You know, you should have a flexibility. You shouldn't, you shouldn't go into the keto diet. You shouldn't go into the, uh, um, I don't know, any type of diet. Why? Because you should enjoy anything and everything you want. Of course, everything in moderation. Like you don't see me drinking every day anymore. Um, I don't eat sweets all that often. It's hard when my parents are home though. They they make these Dominican sweets. And uh, my dad is always like, go ahead, go ahead, have some. Go ahead, have some. This is just one time, go ahead, have some. He repeats it so many times that I'm just like, all right, just, just give me some. Um, <clears throat> but you gotta be able to control yourself. And that's something that for me, Pastries was a big thing. Um, I couldn't control myself with pastries. And now that I do know how to control myself with pastries, um, hey, I can have them. But the other thing too is I kind of developed a, I don't know if it's like a reflex or something, but my stomach, every time I have something fried or something that's baked um, or too, too sweet, my stomach will get upset. So that's another thing that i'm kind of blessed with because now i don't have the urge to eat them because i know if i do i'm gonna feel sick but enough talking let me get to the gym or else i'm gonna be late <laughs>
first meal to the today. This is breakfast. This is the cheat day. But I also have it when I have time during the week. The only reason why I don't eat pancakes during the week is because I don't have time. So oatmeal it is. But yeah, uh, there's not a lot of tracking. All I tracked from this was the amount of mix that I used. Other than that, this is just dying it out and this will fill me up. And then added to that, we have a, a bowl of eggs. This I uh, also tracked. This is about 10 grams of uh, protein, more or less. Um, well, more, because it was 100 grams and 46 grams of eggs, egg whites is um, five grams of protein, something like that. So this also I tracked. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So this is breakfast for today. And then two to three hours later, I'm gonna come back and show you guys what I eat. And yeah, so bon appetit to me. So um, after breakfast, since it's pretty late, I have to wait till two, three in the afternoon to eat again. And uh, my Saturdays usually consist of me editing. So um, I should be editing this video cause it's supposed to be out tomorrow. So when you see it, so it's gonna be a back to back and that happens because I'm a little lazy, um, but yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be up tomorrow, but I'm gonna be editing as I go and record today. And then, I don't know if you can see, I always have the iMovie on. Um, and yeah, so I just sit here and record for y'all, or well, uh, edit for YouTube, and then just chill. Like my breaks, breaks consist of eating or either going to, um, going and playing video games for a little bit. So, um, yeah. One more hour and then I'll check in for the for the food. So Alright y'all. So it's currently 303. About three hours after I ate. And this is my um second meal if you have it. This is about six ounces of steak, and then this is a loaded potato. What's in the sweet potato is just uh unflavored Greek yogurt with some pepper jack cheese. And then I like to have a little bit of extra fat from uh, avocado, so that's guac. Um, and that'll be meal two. Quick tip, um, on the weekends, depending if I work out or how hard I'm working out, um, I like to lower my carbs. Just, see, just if I'm not gonna be as active as I normally am, like today, I literally just woke up, uh, worked out, and then I came home, and I'm just editing, then I don't have as much of a, of a day where I'm moving, or doing anything, <laughs> but um, so I, I do more protein. You always have to gain, get your protein in, one gram of protein per pound. I like to go with a little more, so this is uh, meal two, or meal three if you consider the shake a meal. I'll record my next meal, which should be at like five. Other than that, I'm still recording, trying to make this video move so I can actually upload it tomorrow. So tomorrow you shall see this video. So still here, just editing, now about to eat. And um, that's my Saturday. <laughs> my parents are here, that was my dad that y'all just heard. Um, so I'm probably just gonna go out with them later. So let's see what happens. With, with them here, my meals are a little bit flexible uh, just because they eat whatever. So uh, still home cooked though. Um, I don't go out and eat Burger King like they do. So, um, yeah, this is. All right, here we go, meal three. And this is more of a little snack, at least I consider it. This is also the meal or the snack that I have. When I come from work, it's a egg sandwich, um, a little bit of cheese in there, and then I have Greek yogurt with uh, almond butter in it. I take a little uh, spoonful and I put it in here, and um, that's pretty much it. Again, can't say this enough, prioritize your protein. And as you can see, I like to eat it more than um, consuming it in a supplement. So um, essential, again, can't say it enough. Please, please, please. If you wanna lose the weight, if you wanna tone up, build muscle, consume your protein. Um, protein is essential for losing weight and for building muscle. So um, pretty complete eggs. I uh, have all of the 
essential amino acids. And you have uh, toast, this is Dave's Killer Bread, which I love. Um, has the healthy omegas in it with the grains and then also the carbohydrates. And then you got extra protein here um, with no sugar or fat, so great. But again, we added the almond butter, so that adds the fat to it. So this is uh, meal three. So we got meal number four, and that is uh, shrimp alfredo. My mom made this. So this is one of those meals that I was talking about that is um, kind of like unexpected and you can't really track. Um, so it's pasta, so you just gotta be careful with how much pasta I get. But I also enjoy it because I do love pasta. So that's why I don't track anymore because if I had to track this, it'll be impossible and I'd be just taking noodle by noodle looking at everything else. It's not really worth it. It's not worth the stress. So I'm just gonna enjoy this pasta um and the shrimp i think i'm gonna add a little bit more protein though um either with a shake or some yogurt because the shrimp won't be enough protein for me it's not a lot um and yeah this is uh meal number four all right y'all so last but not least meal number five or snack number five and the last meal of the day fake crunch it's like my little treat. Um, yeah, I've been buying these at Sam's. If you didn't catch that reel, it's on Instagram. Go check it out. Some of the top protein snacks or things that I buy at Sam's Club. And this is one of them. They actually come with two different flavors. The uh, peanut butter and the double chocolate chip. Uh, that's my favorite one. But I usually have this as my last um, before I go to bed treat. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so that's pretty much what I eat and then, yeah, so that's the video for today. I'm going to cut it here. Um, it's all been a long day, kind of tired. So I'm going to play a little bit of video games and then, um, go to sleep. Yeah. So if you like the video, hit that like button and subscribe. I don't know what you're doing. If you haven't, I like to drop one video every week. And, um, if you have any suggestions for me, please let me know in the comments below. I really would appreciate that. And like always guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support. And I'm extremely happy with all the growth that I've been making. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for the future and what it will hold. Uh, again, follow me on the gram. The reels have been doing incredibly uh, good. Um, we're almost at a million views for one of them. And then most of them, they're passing the 100K. So uh thank you thank you thank you again i can't tell you how blessed and thankful i am for all the support all the uh likes shares and comments and saves and everything you can do um hopefully we can start doing that here on youtube as well so again thank you guys and like always there to be different yeah.